Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Xgent VR overview. Hopefully I didn't butcher completely the spelling. A developer was kind enough to send me a free key to try out their game, so usually I don't really say no. Although I'm starting to getting some keys that are, I don't want to say like laughable because I appreciate the effort of just, you know, developing anything in VR at all. But there are some games that are like just, like you know, the concept is so unreal that the success of the actual project won't ever come to light, but I am appreciative of getting the opportunity nevertheless, no matter what. So Accession VR, to put it simply, is a tower defense based game, but with a twist that you're an actual soldier on the battlefield, which is something that's pretty unique, I feel like. Normally tower defense games are like a strategy RTSs, right? You have the camera from above and just like you steer everything on the battlefield, but like here you're kinda an actual commander of whatever is going on. So that really like interested me to try this game out. Of course it's a niche genre, so it caters to the specific audience, but it definitely has some fun features. For example, I did not see like such a huge variety of weapons or just anything combat related in a game ever. Like that's actually crazy how many playstyles you can develop, starting from just like, you know, medieval weapons, lasers, traps, turrets, Jedi shit, like there's a lot. <laughs> So that basically means that anyone that would want to play this game eventually will find its preferred playstyle, which is fun. The game is chaotic, there's like a lot of going on, <laughs> so it's definitely not something for casual Sunday. The core mechanics of the game are okay. I found that the holsters that you hold your weapons or like anything just like on your body is a little bit wonky, like 40% of the time it picks up actually like the controls. So I'm not sure if it's due to the Oculus like quest controllers or like is it just the game. It's definitely something very much vibes of Journey of the Gods, you know those adventure combat games, as well as the graphic styles like from this category. But like the actual concept of the game is very cool, like it's definitely something that I've not seen on the official store, so that way I feel like it belongs there, but unfortunately currently it's on side quest slash each year, so I wonder in what stage the curation is with this game, because I feel like it could be on the official store after polishing some things up, so who knows, maybe we're gonna see See it actually future there. This video is like one month of review because I got the key like at the end of December so I'm not prolonging the video anymore and here's what was happening. So I don't know what I'm getting into basically. I think I just saw once, like long time ago, a demo on SideQuest or something like that. Just like by looking at the screenshots or whatever. But though, what do you have here? First of all, sincere thank you to every player who have purchased and supported us. Okay, let's go to the business. <laughs> Content play in the future, multiplayer, mini. Okay, well, it doesn't really say anything concretely, so let's go. Settings. We have to like load the settings in a different menu, okay. Oh, it very much resembles me the journey of the gods, like a settings menu, weirdly. <laughs> okay, smooth movement, vignette off, go on, intimate info, vibration, difficulty, eh, let's go with normal, whatever. Move sit, move, move stinks, <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it has to be settings. The direction of movement is consistent with your vision. Yes, mm, this is snap to run, but how do I do? Ah, on zero degrees, a smooth turning. Okay, seems like everything is great with locomotion. Hold E great to open a menu. Oh, move to touch your trap. And set traps with this. What is this, a crossbow? What are we playing exactly? <laughs> seems like everything's fine, so I'm just gonna start playing. This is basically a side quest game. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I have HP on my wrist. Okay. Press menu to bring out the menu. <laughs> Here. What? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, at least it's a tutorial. Lovely. What? <laughs> You're coming with me. Okay. Yes, turning. Hold. Extend. A hold and heave the axe. Okay. Oh, uh, you mean throw it, okay. Hmm. Mm, the Wait, the throwing is kinda... It's not standard. Pick up the trap. This. And this, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, we already know about it. Here. So is it some sort of a tower defense? Oh. <laughs> a princess. Here. 
here. Huh. Okay. So it's 3D tower defense, I feel like, or something like that. It can heal everything but can't talk. I love that. Go to the portal to enter the battlefield. What is this? Put spare weapons on your waist. You can switch weapons at any time. Some weapons are one-handed. Oh, it's like a boomerang. Oh, wow. It's actually the first time I kind of use the boomerang in VR. Like, here? Wow. Okay. That's very smooth. I love that, okay. So it seems like it's gonna be like, I'm gonna put traps for the enemies to not cross certain kind of point. So it's like a first person tower defense, because normally tower defense is like the camera is from above and you steer the battlefield. But now it seems like we are the actual person <laughs> on the battlefield to control the situation. That's kind of a very unique concept. Okay, move into energy scope to activate the area and get ready for battle. Yes. Hey! Get back here! <laughs> Prepare face. When the horn is blown, enemies will attack in waves. You have 30 seconds to place traps. Press to skip the setup time. Oh shit, it's starting. Um, so, what are they gonna come from? I think they can't come here, so I just have healing totem <laughs> here, I guess. I have a crossbow here. I think they're gonna come from here and here. And we're guarding, I guess, this. Oh! Hey! <laughs> no! <laughs> Shit! I have to switch the weapon for this. <laughs> What's this? Throw the light bulb on the ground and save the item you want. I'm gonna store the weapons. So I have here holsters. Okay. Slower, <laughs> because there's a lot of happening. King's lighter, catapult, bow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> My style of gameplay. Full draw the bow to charge. Oh yes. Second wave. I think this is gonna be way better now. Like I'm an archer so for me it's gonna be easy. Now. Jesus, how much HP do you have? <laughs> Oh, the longer I charge, the better damage. Okay, <laughs> maybe I could have done the tutorial. Okay, so what do we have now? Bloody Blade, King's Lighter, Fin Funnel Expansion. I don't really know what that means. I'll just take this, I guess. I don't really know what that means, so we'll see. <laughs> Music change? Okay, and let's go. Sheet. Oh, now we have ranged ones. <laughs> oh, damn. No. Get out! <laughs> I'm cornered! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Not know what I'm doing! Bye! Enjoy relax the minigames to better prepare yourself for the battle ahead. I need something melee, like really good. Press to skip the minigame. Wait, what? What? Put the knight's accurate and fish to good use and catch some great treasures in fishing. What is happening? <laughs> so throwing hula hoops for rewards? Oh shit, the timer. Uh, so I want a sword. There. Oh yeah, that's nice try. <laughs> Fuck! No! <laughs> Throw it! Okay, well, I'm not getting anything. So I'm gonna take this. Oh my god. No! <laughs> oh, we have more. Oh, we ha there are bigger ones, okay. Fuck my life. Maybe this... I'm getting triggered. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, I just want one. Oh, thank god something. Give me this hula hoop. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. So what is this? Fin funnel. Automatically attack nearby enemies. Oh, hell yes. Oh, so it's like a personal turret. Oh, that's fun. Okay, what this time we have? Imp. Automatically attack near enemies. Does that mean that it's gonna replace this one? I picked up once, I remember, like Fin Funnel expansion. So I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Let me take Imp, maybe. Oh, yeah, I have two at the same time, nice. Why is there a Christmas music now? <laughs> I 
Wait. Oh shit, wait. <laughs> I can't hit them. What the hell? <laughs> Hmm, well, I was useless. Gatling gun, ooh. I mean, I cannot trust my towers, so I'm gonna take a tower, actually. And I'm gonna place... Oh, I have two. Lovely. So, here. <laughs> and uh, here. I'm just gonna block myself. <laughs> so if we're talking about, uh, like, archery mechanics, I would say they're average. They're not the best, because in some point when you extend your, like, arm till all the way, it kind of does not pick up, but it's not that bad, but it could be better. Okay, yeah, turrets were way better. <laughs> Increase max HP. Yeah, sure. Wait, what the hell are you? What the hell? <laughs> Stop dancing! What the hell? <laughs> ah, so that was the first battlefield. Next battlefield, what do we have here? Ooh, lava. They're gonna come from here. And wait, is that it? Maybe here as well. Oh yeah, oh this is like a big area, okay. I don't really have anything to set up, so let's just start. So I don't know, I'm gonna like be looking through two directions at the same time. I think those ghosts, like, I can't hit them because they're, like, invulnerable to, I think, my physical attacks. Oh, wait, they split? It's not fair. Get out. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get out. Tube. Swing and slash, press to use force to draw enemies closer. Portal. It is a trap that transports to another location. Huh. I mean, I'm gonna take a sword, though. <laughs> okay. Who are you? Oh my god, another disco bitch! <laughs> Where's my laser? Come here! Oh yeah, that's effective. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is OP. <laughs> ah! Get out! <laughs> I'm gonna take this boomerang as well, like in le my left hand, to just like have something to wrench with other people. Oh wait, now they're coming from there. Holy hell! <laughs> ah! Shit! <laughs> I think I can deflect the projector as well with this. Come here. No. Oof, okay. <laughs> Is it time for a mini game? It seems like it. What do we have now? Use the flexibility of the night to bypass every wall along with the beat? Are we in uh, O shape or something now? Mm, I can't return, okay. Oh. So. <laughs> oh, I just punch. Okay. <laughs> you know what it reminds me? Like the old school Wii games, you know? Like mixing up the actual... Ah! Shit, <laughs> I jumped on my bed. Like it's mixing up the actual gameplay and like with the mini games. Like kind of the Mario type of, you know, stuff. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hope I'm not gonna fall. <laughs> ah! Oh shit. <laughs> Ooh, I got... Nearly all of them, wow. So many weapons. Okay, piggy, I'm taking you. <laughs> so, we got this pig. I guess this is gonna be like a one-time usable thing. It's just gonna pretty much straight up run at someone that's gonna be close by. Chainsaw? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm taking this. Holy shit. So I'm pulling... Just... Uh... Come on! Okay, it works now. <laughs> so, piggy. She's not running! 
Oh shit! <laughs> okay, well now yes. Oh my god. Dash dash. Oh yeah, that's OP. Stop dancing there. Ooh, annular rake. I'm taking this. Yeah, here. Why not? Something about this game is that it's very difficult to change weapons for some reason. Like it's very just one key. Oh. Okay, yeah, that kinda works. Time for a chainsaw. Slashy slashy. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about them. Nice. Oh, here are the upgrades. When you go to the actual menu, you can see. Alright, well, gonna do it here. It's kind of weirdly fun in a way. Like, it kind of reminds me of old school, you know, gameplay with just mixing up the actual just combat with just mini games. It's definitely, I feel like, something that could be very much amazing, like, in the multiplayer setting. Selection of the weapons is this game is, like, insane. Like, everyone will just find their preferred kind of gameplay. For me, it's usually archery, but here's, like, mixing up with all the tower defense elements and kind of, like, live action shooting. It's kind of specific genre, not gonna lie, because not everyone is gonna, like, you know, play it constantly every day. But it's something very unique that I've never seen in VR so far, so it's a shame that it's, like, on side quest. Hopefully they're, like, trying to kind of get on the quest store, because there is some potential. There are some weird kind of mechanics as well, especially kind of this grabbing different weapons. I think because we have such an overload of weaponry, something gets mixed up in the mechanics, like, on the holsters, basically. But I can see this being fun for some people, for sure. That's about it.